What is up y'all? Welcome to this YouTube video today. The importance dead wood brings to an ecosystem. And we're going to be focusing on my nature preserve and what I have done here with dead wood that I think is pretty dang cool. So let's get right into this video. So when it comes to dead wood, I have an obsession. It's a healthy obsession. But basically, I love wood because I know the value that it brings to all life in the ecosystem. And I'm going to start with this. The woods behind my house, about 100 plus acres of nature is being destroyed for houses. And I have saved a thousand pieces of wood of just logs, of down logs, of rotting logs, of dead standing trees, which are snags. And I mimic the function of that by planting these trees into the ground to not be alive, but to mimic the function of a dead standing tree. And we'll get into the value as to what that brings to an ecosystem. So basically in this video, I'm going to walk you out through the property. I'm going to show you how I use the dead wood, why dead wood is so important, and uh, hopefully you learn something today because it's pretty cool. I consider myself a nature architect. So this right here is one of the main entranceways to my property. You can see how I've lined the paths all with dead wood. And some of the sizes of this dead wood are very valuable. This is a very old growth that is supplying great value to the ecosystem and first we'll focus on the paths and how I think it just makes it so cool while being so beneficial. Each piece of dead wood is so unique and there is a whole ecosystem in these logs. This is vital habitat for insects, for mosses, for mushrooms and then that then creates a buffet of food for other wildlife like woodpeckers. The amount of woodpeckers I see on dead wood obviously getting insects and in life. Look at this. Here's a hole. There's insects in there. There's a whole world in there coexisting, creating biodiversity. Here is some mushrooms on this dead wood. I don't actually don't know the name of these mushrooms. I should. I need to learn mushrooms a little more. But how cool is that? I think it just adds such a cool element. This dead wood right here is a really cool piece. But you see this, how it's kind of flat right here? Water will fill in here and it kind of creates a little bird bath or little puddles where even insects can drink water from. And it's just very nice. Now we're just walking along the paths of the property. And actually this right here, I just brought this piece in. This piece right here. And for the sake of the video, look, I'm going to lift this up. There is, look, there's, there's a little bug right there. Look at the ants right in there. I mean, a whole world. Nature is so complex. It's not just plants. Plants are obviously so important. But the function of dead wood for these insects and life and organisms to have cover, to have habitat in, are essential. So now here is another very important role of dead wood is snags, which is a dead standing tree. And this provides essential habitat for a lot of life in an ecosystem, especially for birds. I think 80 plus birds in North America rely on dead standing trees. They will nest in cavities like this one right here. It's basically a grocery store for woodpeckers because there's obviously insects and life in here. But since it's perching in the air, it makes it a lot easier for woodpeckers to get the insects, feel safe. It's a great perch for predators or squirrels will climb up on top of that. And it just adds, I think, a visual interest to an ecosystem, especially when it's covered by green plants like this spice bush right here. Here's a great angle of the woodland in my property. And we can just see how the forest floor is covered with dead wood. And when you have now an abundance of native species coexisting with these little mini habitats, dude, it supplies such a diversity of life helps all different types of critters in the ecosystem and look at this beautiful piece or how about this dead standing piece right here how amazing how amazing hopefully this inspires you to maybe look at nature deeper to understand the role in which all of the functions in the ecosystem plays this is supplying vital nutrients back into the soil this is making the soil richer and even when it's super dry sometimes these logs that really hold a lot of water can help other plants get water and moisture in those hot summer days when it comes to chipmunks out here it's a straight playground when i tell y'all you just see them running around in and out of the dead wood in and around the dead wood, up through the plants. It is so amazing. How about right up my wildlife pond here? You can see all of the dead wood creating vital habitat right on the edge of the pond where frogs can hide, snakes, insects, birds can get lunch, dinner, breakfast, whatever. 
How just amazing. Look at the intricate system in here. The world. And then my favorite. Look at this. How cool is this? When I tell you, I will see squirrels, chipmunks, snakes pop up right through there. But you see how intricate this world is? And to a lot of people, oh, this is messy. I look at this as so beautiful because it's life here. It's energy. It's a world with uniqueness. Always something new when you come out here. Always something different. Wow, is this inspiring. Beautiful dead wood piece right here, hanging on the tree. How about this one right here? Or maybe this one that's going up this tree right here. Or maybe this beautiful piece, creating such a great overlook for a lot of predators and just adding that structural diversity to an ecosystem. Y'all check this out. Had to switch to another lens. Pileated woodpecker. Now he was just on the dead wood on my paths. How cool is this? As you can see, this beautiful piece right here, my brother, my ecosystem, this is very much dead, but it's also very much alive. And that's what's so cool about it. That's what's so connected about it, how everything coexists together in an ecosystem, how everything supports each other. And it is beautiful, it is powerful. So go put some dead wood in your habitat. So I hope this video inspired you to maybe look at nature a little deeper, understand how everything in an ecosystem coexists together, providing important value. And dead wood is a very important function in a healthy native ecosystem. And I'm just so excited for you guys to be along this journey of me really showing this property, what I've done here, the impacts that it's made, the life, the ecosystem that is thriving here, me on some of my nature projects, because I do a lot of native plantings for other people, me even just vlogging my day or going to a burning trail or having deep conversation with by myself or other people. This channel here is going to be very powerful and it's going to be everything to do with nature, everything to do with life, spirituality, just me authentically expressing who I am and why I'm here. And I'm so grateful for the ones that are on this journey with me, you know, because this is a very important time in the world right now. This is a very important time for humanity. So I feel I can be maybe a light to people, a guiding light to spark that connection that's already within themselves. And I feel nature is that home base that can really help us, guide us, bring us back to who we are. So I hope you appreciated Deadwood. I hope you see the value in Deadwood and how powerful and beautiful it is. And maybe you want to create some habitat at your house as well. And if you do, I recommend getting some dead logs, putting up a dead standing tree, and watch how life unfolds in the most beautiful way. Blessings, y'all. I'll see you on the next one.